Hello everyone. I am Ayushi Gandhi and today we are going to talk about chapter number 10 which is concept of 4R. So after the waste management chapters which we have studied like solid waste management, electronic waste management, biomedical waste management, concept of 4R is also a part of waste management. So what do you mean by 4R's concept? So 4R concept consists of four things which is reduce reuse recycle and recreate that's how 4r concept has been developed one is reduce second is reuse third is recycle and fourth is recover so what happens here this 4r concept is applied to waste management concept what do you mean by concept of 4r in terms of how can we apply the concept of 4r so what does reduce means reduce is used to limit the amount of waste you create in the first place this includes buying product with less packaging so what happens here you are going to buy products with less packaging that means you are generating less amount of waste so you are reducing the amount of waste in the environment second is reuse reuse means to use something again that you would normally throw away example glass jar for food or plastic bags for bin liners so the things which you normally throw away can be utilized also so you have to reuse the waste third is recycle recycle means the product goes through mechanical process to change its form this is only recommended when reducing and reusing are not possible so what do you mean by recycle recycle means the product goes through some mechanical change you are changing the mechanism of the product by using any mechanical process so here you are adding more energy more time to the waste so that's why first you have to reduce or reuse after that reducing and reuse recycling can be done so this is only recommended when reducing and reusing are not possible so if it is not possible then only you recycle the waste because it requires a process to recycle recover recover is to convert the waste into resources such as electricity heat compost and fuel through thermal and biological means resource recovery occurs after reduce reuse and recycle have been attempted so what do you mean by recover recover is to convert the waste from one form to another form such as electricity heat compost and fuel so you are converting the energy from one form to another form that is known as recover you are extracting that energy from the waste and utilizing that energy now the waste management you know what is recovering recovering means to extract the energy from the waste and convert it into heat or compost or any other form of energy so energy required from the waste is the conversion of non recyclable waste materials into usable heat electricity or fuel through variety process including conversion gasification and pyrolyzation so recovering of waste is done by extracting energy and converting it into form of heat electricity or fuel through variety of process which processes are done to convert the energy combustion gasification and pyrolyzation and anaerobic digestion and landfill gas recovery the process is often called waste to energy so recovery is converting waste into energy to recover is to retreat and retry waste material and or energy produced from waste product through biological thermal and or chemical means now how can we help in the concept of 4r So first is by choosing to purchase reusable alternatives in the first place instead of disposal products such as batteries or handkerchief utilize materials which are reusable rather than utilizing disposable material like disposable glass so they have to be disposed instead of that if you use steel glass it can be utilized again and again so that is reusing the materials or product by choosing to refill drink containers by reusing refillable items such as shopping bags plastic containers and glass jars even pen is an example of refillable items so you, rather than using use and throw pen utilize refillable pens fine so that is also a part of 4r 
by renting or hiring items that you will only need to use for a short time instead of buying it and storing it so instead of buying and storing rent items so if you need something which is for a shorter period of time you don't need afterwards then just rent that item and give it back to the owner so that less amount of waste is generated buying second hand items and clothing so once if i have utilized something and it is in good condition i'll give it to someone else so buying second hand clothing and items donating clothing and household items to charity op or thrift shops instead of disposing them so rather than disposing materials or products which are not usable to you you donate those items so people who want to utilize those things can utilize it and that's how the waste is reduced in our surrounding if garbage is still produced find a way to give it a new life before throwing it away so by utilizing the waste people also do craft so that is also one of the method which shows that we are generating less amount of waste by reducing the waste reduce the amount of waste of packaging by buying products that have little or no packaging on them so mostly buy products which have no packaging on them so that the amount of waste is reduced use reusable containers that can be washed time and time again so rather than using disposable material use containers which can be washed again and again and utilized take your own shopping bags when you go for shopping rather than using plastic bags use bags made up of clothes so that you can use it again and again purchase in bulk purchase item in recyclable packaging such as glass jar so rather than purchasing items again and again purchase them in bulk so that wastage is reduced less landfills you don't need as much raw materials there can be so many advantage of using the concept of 4r it can be cheaper to produce a recyclable object less rubbish is dumped less waste cleaner environment you are saving electricity you are saving money by reutilizing it less pollution from your car utilizing things which generates less pollution so less pollution from the car fresher air more landfill space and less money spent on landfill and saving water so by doing this things we are benefited in greater amount less waste is generated we all know that by reducing the amount of waste we will generate less waste you are not washing as much if you want to save water if you want to save the resources you won't wash that much if you hand clothes and toys to other people it will save the money so if you are donating things you will save money you will get some money back so saving of money is also done by the concept of 4r if we use green bags we don't need plastic which can be bad for environment so we are also saving our environment by using green bags bags made up of clothes so lesser amount of plastic will be generated in form of waste it's hard to teach everyone to do it i understand it's very hard to teach everyone to stop wasting and stop generating more and more waste some people don't sort the things properly it still uses energy and cause pollution so they will still utilize energy without being concerned about energy resources how they are depleting day by day and they cause more and more pollution and it is ultimately affecting human beings only so to make understand some people it's very difficult but as a citizen we should be aware how we can reduce waste how we can generate less amount of waste why we have to reuse things so how it can be helpful to the environment as citizens we should be aware about that that's why we have to apply the concept of 4r by reduce reuse recycle and recover so these are very four important part in managing the waste now let us see how recycling can be helpful so recycling is changing a used article and manipulating it so it can be reused recycling is different from the two hours as it does not prevent waste so here you are not stopping the waste but you are converting the waste from one form to another form in which it can be helpful so however it reduces the amount of garbage produced by reusing materials as opposed to using more new unused material upcycling is changing the recycled object so that its previous value increases 
and example aluminum to plane so that is known as upcycling where you are increasing the value of the product elephant poop to paper and paper plates so again you are increasing the value poop does not have that much value and when you convert it into paper or plate it it increases the value right so these things that can easily be recycled remade into new products or materials include aluminum cans steel cans newspaper magazines phone books cardboard paper glass jar containers plastic milk containers bottles some items aren't recyclable such items includes boxes that have touched food wax coated paper plastic that have been mixed together with example toys toy form facial tissue example kleenex is a very famous brand in which it cannot be converted recycling reduces the amount of resources used because the majority of material needed are already there so here you all know that how recycling is very important if you are generating waste studying about the waste you should know what kind of waste are generated mostly which method is applied where where you can reduce where you can recycle where you can reuse or where you can recover so you should also know what is upcycling and what is downcycling suppose if you are converting aluminum into plain so that means you are generating its more value now what is downcycling is downcycling is the altering the object and lowering the initial value so paper here the price was more compared to tissue so that is low cycling upcycling is when you increase the value and low cycling is when you decrease the value but you are recycling the material or product so here in this chapter what you are going to learn is why first of the four r is reduce why second is reuse why third is recycle and why fourth is recover so one by one we'll understand that so first let us understand what is reuse to so to reuse is to use an item again after it has been used simple what does reuse means unfortunately producing garbage is inevitable so of course you have people will generate garbage it is inevitable but what methods we can apply to reduce reuse recycle and recover and how we should apply it as a result the second step in the hierarchy is to reuse so the first is to reduce second is to reuse how can i reduce the waste in the first step itself what does reduce means when it comes to waste management the best action we can take is to prevent waste from being created in the first place so the first star that's why it is reduce so we have to prevent the generation of waste so that's why the first star is to reduce to reduce means to decrease the amount or bring down into small amount extent or size the majority of waste that would normally go into landfilling sites can be reused the fuel is obtained cheaply there will always be a reliable source of fuel as people will always have waste to recover is to retreat and retrieve the waste material and or energy produced from the waste products through biological thermal and or chemical means so we know what do you mean by recover why reduce is the first step why reuse is the second step what is recover is to taking out the energy from the waste and what do you mean by recycling recycling there were two types of recycling upcycling and downcycling or you can say upcycling or low cycling now why it is important to follow this method of reduce reuse recycle for several reasons we reduce in order to save resources because they are not endless so there are non renewable resources also so they are not endless that's why we need to reduce the waste we reuse because mankind need to use a lot of energy and resources to produce the materials we need so reuse is done because of that we recycle because recycling reduces the amount of energy and reduces the amount of material we have to dig out emission is an act or an instant of emitting or discharging some people don't like hand me downs it can spread germs if you are not really clean you can still reuse bad things so here you know why we need to reduce to save resources why we need to reuse 
so that mankind needs lot of energy and resources to produce the materials we need and why we need to recycle because it reduces the amount of materials we have to dig out so why we need to understand the concept of 4r and why it is not that famous why people are not using it what are the barriers which are coming on the way of utilizing the concept of 4r so the what are the barriers so the public at large is still unconvinced that emission from the waste to energy plants are clean and free from harmful chemicals so when you convert waste to another form of energy at that time whatever chemicals are released are helpful to us obviously they are dangerous and that can cause pollution also so people are unconvinced in that part waste to energy facilities are expensive to construct so it will require more amount of money to con to construct those kind of setup so economically it is not feasible little kids don't understand they don't understand how they can reduce waste reuse waste less convenient it is not convenient enough for the people it takes time you could still be wasting you might still be dirty after a short shower so if i want to save water i'll take short shower so it can happen that i can be dirty also reducing the brightness of the reading light can hurt your eyes to save electricity it may result into affecting my eyes electronic waste recycling fees so to recycle electronic waste the fees are very high business benefits of reducing reusing recycling and recovering the waste may be not that much so that's why these are some disadvantage of 4r but still utilizing this concept is very very important to conserve the resources so here you can see disposal energy recovery recycling reuse minimization and prevention so orange is the least favored option and green is the most favored option so first you have to prevent minimize the use then you have to think of reuse recycle and uh, at the end if these things are not possible then only you can think of energy recovery and disposal so first part shows that this is the most preferred option to prevent or minimize the use second part shows that if this is not possible you can reuse and recycle if that is also not possible then and only then you can do energy recovery and after that if nothing is possible then only you dispose the waste thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next lecture of environmental science thank you today we learned lot of things about 4r what is reduce reuse recycle and recover reducing means preventing waste reuse means utilizing the waste again recycle means converting waste from one form to another form by mechanical process and recover means to convert the waste into any form of energy like heat or electricity so this is the concept of 4r we should also apply in our day to day life so that resources are conserved and saved this is the need of an r so that's why we need to apply the concept of 4r